This is Drosera camphora pestris, a very beautiful South American sundew. It closely resembles Drosera chrysolepsis, except for the fact that it doesn't form a stem over time and the growth tends to remain at the level of the media surface. These plants you see here are two years old, grown from seed, and they've been exceptionally easy to grow um, compared to the more picky Drosera ascendens that I've had to keep in this sort of container sealed with saran wrap to keep up the humidity. Um, but uh, Drosera camphora pestris never really needed any additional humidity on the tray method that I'm growing it on. And uh, it also was able to handle the 85 degree Fahrenheit temperatures that we had this uh, past summer very well, as long as it was fed. Um, if you don't feed it, uh, especially when growing them from seed, you'll notice that the growth pretty much comes to a halt. And um, it may even start to decline during the warmer temperatures. But as long as you feed it once a month at least, or a little less frequently than that, uh, the, the growth really does take off quite rapidly, and they're able to really thrive even in sort of unfavorable conditions that might be expected for most South American sundews. Uh, the plant you see here is growing in a peat sand mix in a 4-inch pot, but I also have some other plants uh, that I recently put into a peat with uh, living sphagnum, and it's in a smaller pot, but the plants really seem to be doing well in there too. So uh, the species really seems to be adaptable and um, is pretty tolerant of many conditions. Uh, th unfortunately, the species is pretty rare at the moment, but I was able to spread about eight plants around so far to other growers, and hopefully this will become more common in the future since it is so easy to grow. And um, I, I just really... Uh, I think that if you have good conditions for growing Drosera regia or uh, Drosera agraramagalensis, this should be no problem at all for you. Um, even if you can grow Drosera capensis, uh, this should do well. So I hope you can obtain this in the near future. We're doing our best to spread it around. This is Drosera camphorter pestris.